fantastic Friday. We are back here with you again, live from Baby Lady Canterbury. We're babyladyuk.co.uk. <laughs> We're back again uh, on our regular start, a slot at 10.59 Mondays and Fridays. I feel that there's a little bit of excitement in the air at the moment. I think that we see a window. We've all been cooped up for so long. There does seem to be an air of excitement. So if you are watching today, let us know where you're watching from. And also, do you feel that air of excitement? Can you feel it? Uh, do you have children at school that are going back to school next week? I have children at home that I am very much looking forward to going back to school. It's been a long time. So let us know uh, if, you, if you're in that. And do you feel it? Do you feel that little anticipation? We are very excited about getting ready, ready to open back up so that we can have you back in store. Uh, and I just think we're all, you know, looking forward to better weather, better things to come. So just message us if you agree or don't agree, even if you don't. So hopefully we've got people watching today on YouTube and our Facebook channel and also on Instagram. So let us know if you are watching. We're today going to focus, bearing in mind that little air of excitement on compact folding, possibly holiday buggies. Anybody thinking about a holiday? Anybody feel they might get a holiday this year? We have been asked for compact folding buggies. Some of you are thinking perhaps you are going to get the chance to go and visit people. Maybe you're going to go away. And whilst we didn't really look at compact buggies while we were in lockdown because there wasn't a massive need for them, people are asking about it. So that's what we thought we would concentrate on today. And actually, when we got them out, then we actually have a lot more compact buggies than we realise. I think sometimes we have so much stock here at Baby Lady um, and obviously where we've been shut, we didn't actually realise how many. So at the moment today, we've got nine different compact fold, uh, folding buggies out on the floor. We will have to move about because we didn't have enough room, even with our wide angle lens to show you them all. And we've also got the traditional uh, compact folding umbrella buggies, which are going a little bit out of fashion at the moment, but just in case you want to have a look at those. So, so we, we had lots of inquiries from some of you who maybe are thinking about going away. Maybe you, you want something that's a bit more compact to go in the car. So we've got out a selection. We can compare them for you. And I'm going to talk about things that you should be looking for if you're looking to purchase that type of buggy. So we've got Vanessa watching this morning. She said, good morning. Looking forward to, forward to another live. Really enjoying them during lockdown. Oh, and if you are watching live, we would love it if you liked and shared our page. And if you're watching on replay, do please ask, add the hashtag replay, uh, which really is good for us to see that you're watching on replay as well. So we'll, we'll, we'll crack on and do ping us across your questions as well. I know we've had a couple of questions already. Um, I'm going to come to those in a minute. We'll come back to those. Um, do message us your questions. And because of the limited amount of time today, it's impossible for me to demonstrate every single one of these nine buggies because we'd be here all day and then I wouldn't get any work done and none of our deliveries would get sent out. But we have recorded a series of individual videos on pretty much all of these on our YouTube channel, so you can check those out there. So points to cover in terms of what you're looking at when you are buying a compact folding buggy. Obviously, you need to have a think about what age of child you want your buggy to go from. Have you got a newborn or a very young child? Have you maybe got an older child? Um, these are obviously things to take into account. Now, pretty much most of the push chairs that we've got out today, and I'm going to run through what we've got out just in case anybody has any specific questions. I'm going to run right from this end. This is the Silver Cross Jet Super Compact Folding Buggy. This is in the gorgeous Eclipse colour. So this is suitable from birth. Um, it goes up to 15 kilograms and it will only it only weighs 5.9 kilograms. So it comes with its own individual carry bag. Um, so if you do want to go on an aeroplane, this might be a really, really good option for you. Depending on the colour that you choose, prices on this start from £175 up to about £300. I'm going to say if people have more questions on these, do let me know. There are individual videos on all of these. Um, Maxi Cody Lara. Uh, this is actually the Lara 2. Um, I, I do really love this buggy. and I'm not that we're particularly biased to any particular company, but if you are looking for something as a holiday buggy, this is suitable for overhead lockers. So is the Jet, actually. The Jet is also approved for overhead lockers. If you're going to go on a plane, oh my God, what's a plane? Uh, <laughs> I think we've all forgotten what a plane is. Um, this is also suitable for an overhead locker. It does fold very compactly, and if anyone wants me to show them this, I can. 
So the Mexicodi Lara 2 weighs 6.4 kilos, so it's still quite a light weight. Um, and it's actually suitable up to 22 kilograms. So it's quite a big seat unit and quite a heavy weight. Um, it's also got extendable hood, which is also something that you might want to look at how much coverage you've got. It's suitable from birth, as I said, it has ventilation as well. We've got a little ventilation panel um, on the back here. Again, have a look at the individual videos on this and it folds up super compact. It's actually quite sturdy for a lightweight buggy, but this is one of the few that comes with a set of car seat adapters. So if you are looking for something for a smaller child and perhaps you want to be able to put a car seat on it, we don't sell the very popular um, uh, buggy that is actually a car seat with wheels on because it's not something that we're comfortable in terms of safety standards. It has passed the test, but we just think there are better options. So this um, could double up. If you wanted something that you could put a car seat on that folds super compactly, that's very light, it does include the car seat adapters when you purchase it. Um, there's no extra cost for that. And it also includes a rain cover, as does the jet, actually. Uh, the jet also includes a rain cover. So again, something to think about. If you've got a heavier weight child, pop the rain cover back in there, heavier weight child, that might be something like that. Um, do ping us any questions. If you have got any, let us know. Um, so then I've got the Chico goodie. Um, I love this one as well. This is also a really clever pushchair. Um, I've done a, an individual video on this as well. So this is 6.9. So again, slightly heavier, but up to 22 kilos. Again, big seat unit. It's a little bit bigger folded than the Lara, but it's still a great buggy. And this one, I should have actually said the Lara is £189. This one's £159 currently on offer. So if you're looking for something that maybe isn't quite as expensive, that also has a heavier weight, um, it isn't suitable, I don't think, for overhead load. It might be suitable. It's, it's a little bit bigger when it's folded. Let's have a quick look at this. Now I've questioned myself whether that's suitable for overhead locker. Um, it folds up on its own. It's very compact, but I'm not sure. You can take the bumper bar out. Um, I think that's probably too big for overhead locker. Obviously, you can check with your individual airlines, but there are quite strict criteria about what, uh, what you can have. But it is a great little buggy at a very competitive price, and it folds very easily. Um, and again, this one has a 22 kilo weight. So if you are concerned, and we do often get asked, by customers if you've got a heavier child what is going to be suitable and again that extendable hood and a bumper bar as well so a lot of these now are including bumper bars so claire um, on um instagram asks which would you recommend for the beach or rougher terrain okay so for the beach and rougher terrain right over the other side is the tule spring now, the Tule Spring is absolutely an awesome buggy for that type of terrain. And if it's okay with you, Claire, I'm going to work my way along to show you that one. Um, but that would be absolutely perfect. And the reason we included that today, although it isn't traditionally classified as an, uh, a compact folding buggy, it is actually very compact folding um, and very sturdy. And we just uh, had one go out to a customer this week, or who I don't know is watching today, who sent me some lovely pictures of her children in it, and she's absolutely thrilled with it. And what she wanted was a more heavy duty push chair that was just lovely to push and and that has it does fit the bill um so we will go to that um while we're here this is the baby zone yo um it is sort of pretty much considered to be one of the most popular um buggies in this marketplace and um, it isn't suitable from birth unless you have the newborn insert so this one is set up with the newborn insert well, I've actually got a question from Sophie who asks, um, what do you recommend for a newborn baby? Okay, so Sophie, are we talking newborn? <coughs> Excuse me. Hmm. Oh, that went down the wrong way. Excuse me, Sophie. Um, newborn, as in new newborn. Yeah, let us know how old your baby is, because some of these, um, although they are suitable from birth, um, the yo-yo here will face you because it has that newborn inlay. Yeah, if it's, if it's to replace, if it's instead of, sorry about that, I do have all these weird allergies, we've been cleaning this. If it's to replace a pushchair completely, then you might have different requirements. <coughs> oh, 
set myself off today. Um, you might have different requirements than if you want something as a second buggy. So do let us know. Do you mean like if you're going away or instead of buying a proper pram? And when I say proper pram, I don't mean these are not proper prams, but generally we would assume that people would buy these as a second purchase, not as a... As a, on top of your regular, your yeah. everyday buggy. But the babies in yo, you probably would buy instead of. So that's where we ask that question. Um, it is a lot more expensive than the other models here. It is suitable for overhead locker. Um, I've popped it in the box here. And as you can see, I take it out super small it is super small but in fairness so is the lara um and a couple of the others as well that we looked at earlier are very compact now um originally it was pretty much the baby Yo, and all of these buggies have come out as sort of competitor products i think um but because this has a newborn insert this is the only one that will face you so with the others and one of the things we talked about while we were setting up this live today is it's very, very difficult to find a compact folding buggy that will parent face. Pretty much all of them, because of the way they fold and because of the fact they're very compact, will face away from parent. And that's something else that you might want to think about, particularly if you're buying for your newborn. Is it Sophie? Sophie, yes. Yeah, yeah. So she is going away um, with a newborn baby. Okay, so pretty much all of the products we've looked at so far are suitable to put a newborn baby in. Um, all of these are this obviously you'd have to buy the newborn insert which if you're buying it as a second purchase does make it more expensive but we do have 15 percent off the baby said until sunday i think on our website as well um the these are all suitable from birth apart from the two lane which we're going to come to at the end so pretty much sophie everything we're going to show you today apart from the baby zone which you have to buy the newborn insert in and that would again depend on how if it is really newborn then you're going to need a lay flat seat unit and all of these will have lay, lay flat seat units apart from the two lay but again what you might want to consider sophie is where you're going and how much protection you need so yeah do message us i mean obviously if you've got specific questions we do our best to cover it um if, as best we can in the live but if you have got specific questions um, on any particular products, you're very welcome to message us. Obviously, we've got a team standing by to answer your specific questions. Uh, so moving on past the Baby's Own Yo, uh, which is an amazing product. I didn't really look at this because I was having a little coffee fit. Um, it does have suspension. Um, it, is a, it is a great little buggy. Um, and particularly if you want to spend a little bit more for something that's extremely durable, then um, that may well be something you want to look at. So if we move along the row, next we have the hybrid cabbie. I think that the very distinctive styling on this as well sets this one out. Um, just I didn't mention, by the way, as we were looking at the Baby Zen, um, the Baby Zen does it only weigh 6.2 kilos and um, it's um, overhead locker size and it goes up to 22 kilos because I know we're sort of comparing these. Uh, right. Hybrid cabbie. This I think sells itself on the very unique, very special styling. Um, it comes in two colorways. It comes in the gray with the brown tan handle and the black. It's got this mottled effect on the hood and it also does have an extendable hood, which has ventilation. So this would be- very Look at good. that coverage, yeah. especially if you are going away um, to somewhere that has much nicer weather than here. <laughs> we are going to have nicer weather though. I literally, I booked it. We're definitely having nicer weather. It's coming. There's a little glimpse of it the other weekend. Um, I don't know if you can see this on the video. As I said, we have done individual videos on this, but that does give you quite a lot of coverage for a newborn. Um, I think it was Sophie that was asking about it. So that's obviously something you might want to think about how much hood coverage. But all of these seat units will lay flat. They have adjustable backrests. And the cabbie, the cabbie goes up to 15 kilos. Um, currently on sale at 159. Um, it does have the adjustable crotch piece and a nice padded seat unit. Um, and it's it actually feels quite sturdy. Um, did I say it was 7.6 kilos? I'm repeating myself. Now. <laughs> it's a little bit heavier than some of the other ones we looked at, but it actually does feel very sturdy. So this is again something you want to consider. How sturdy do you need it to be? This one I think is probably too big to go in an overhead locker. It's it's still very compact when it's folded. Um, but it is a little bit bigger for overhead locker. But it's beautiful styling. I don't know if you can see the wheels. Can you see the wheels? How they just like, they've got like, 
<laughs> They're very it's funky. Really, it is. It's just like modern and funky and nice. So that's another one. Absolutely lovely. Uh, moving on, Atom 2. We did a video of this this week. Um, love this little product. This is the Atom 2. Um, it's the latest, newest Atom from our friends at Baby Style. Um, and again, it's a beautiful cushion. Now, this one has um, a big seat unit. We do think that this seat unit is actually very generous. Um, it goes up to 22 kilos, which is actually good. Um, adjustable leg rest. This, again, is suitable from birth as per our question from Sophie. Um, you can lay it completely flat. Again, as I said, there are individual videos. And again, look at the coverage on that. So this may well be something that is relevant. Now, this one is a little bit heavier. It does actually feel much sturdier, but it is a little bit heavier. Um, it actually weighs 9.2 kilos, which I was really, really surprised about. When I looked at the stats, I was very surprised. It really doesn't feel no, like it, it does it? And when you push it, it actually feels very, very light to push. Um, so unless unless our friends at Baby Style have got those stats wrong, and I don't know if anyone's watching, but that's what it says in the catalogue, that it weighs 9.2 kilograms. I haven't actually physically weighed it, but um, it doesn't feel like 9.2 kilograms. Oh, Sophie's like going it. to Greece. Oh, do you know what, We're Sophie? very jealous. We are very jealous. When you go to Greece, Sophie, can we come with you? Can we stash in your, in your luggage? Uh, that sounds amazing. Oh, gosh. Yes. Lovely thought. Um, yeah, so so a cabbie, again, would be a great choice for you. Um, it depends on, Sophie, whether you want it to go in overhead locker. And if you have got a newborn, I think that might be quite important for you if you're going on a plane. And this is, again, something to consider. If you arrive at your airport, if you have a buggy that will go in your overhead locker, you can literally take it onto the plane with you. When you get off at the other end, you might be tired, your baby is tired, you have your buggy with you. People don't realise, especially if you've not been on a plane before, if you take your buggy and you take it on a plane, it goes into the hold. Although you take it to the door of the plane, it actually goes into the hold of the aircraft and you have to wait for it to come out after your luggage. And usually, from my experience, they come out last and you're stuck there with a, an anxious, fretting toddler and you've got nowhere to put them and you've got suitcases. So it is very, very handy to have a buggy that will go into overhead locker. It's not essential, but it can be very useful. So again, uh, maybe bear that in mind. But if you wanted, I mean, you know, some people are going staycations this year. Not everyone is gonna go abroad. A lot of people are feeling that maybe it's better to stay in this country. Um, and in that case, this type of buggy is absolutely excellent. It folds very compactly. Um, it just is very sturdy. Um, someone earlier who I do apologize, was it? Victor? Claire. Somebody asked about the sturdiness in, in terms of you going, this has actually got a little bit more suspension. Um, I think probably that comes down to the fact that it, is, it weighs a little bit more. Um, so again, you could take this lots of different places. Um, if anybody wants me to go into any more details on any of these specifically, do give me a shout out and we can go into them in more detail. Um, so I'm gonna come back to the Oyster Zero, but I'm gonna go to the, actually I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna come to the, this is the Chico Olala. Now, if you want something that's not so expensive, and actually I didn't say this, I'm jumping from thing to thing, so I do apologise. The um, the Atom is £199, just so that you can compare in terms of prices. We'll recap on these. If you want something that is small and compact and light, not necessarily overhead locker, but maybe suitable for grandparents, this is the Chica Olala, 3.8 kilos. This is the lightest that we have. It really is incredibly light. It literally... Got a little folding catch somewhere. We didn't unfold this earlier. Hmm. On the handle. It's on the handle. Thank you. So, all different. so this, if you want something that's suitable for, for your grandparents as well, um, if you are going to be going out and visiting, it's eighty pounds. You know, it's eighty pounds. It's really light. It's really compact. It won't be as sturdy as some of the other things we've looked at. But if you do want something super light, um, again, if you're going somewhere, you need space in the car. 80 pounds is not going to break your budget um and it's 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 nice it's a little chico oh la la too it's still really padded it's yeah. got good coverage yeah, it's got a hood um you know for 80 pounds it's a bit of a bargain really you rain cover as well them. yeah all of these are pretty much everything apart from the baby's in which is the most expensive all include the rain covers so yeah it might be one to think about and so i'm going to go to the Chile spring now because i know that uh we did get asked about things that were compact for off-road and sort of beach and things like that so that's why we've included the Tule. now we did do um a, a, a whole feature 
on off-road push chairs. But this is a brilliant little product. Really is a brilliant little product. It isn't sadly suitable from birth. Um, if there was one one tiny thing I would like them to change, it would be if it was suitable from birth. It isn't currently suitable from birth. So uh, for that lady who's going to Greece, Sophie was it? Yeah. Um, this wouldn't be suitable for you unless you put a car seat on it. And you can attach uh, car seats. There are attachment points so you can put a car seat adapter onto this as well. Now this, and this also doesn't include a rain cover actually, um, which is interesting, isn't it actually? I've never really considered that. The more expensive ones don't include rain covers. Uh, it's a, it's a really, really lovely padded buggy, but it has great suspension. This one, depending where you look, says it goes up to between 27 or 22 kilos. So it's a very heavy weight limit. It's very compact to fold. It has this very clever fold under here. And although it's not as tiny as some of the other things we've looked at, considering what it's designed for, it is actually very compact. Um, so if you wanted something to go on the beach if you want to go more rugged walking but you just don't want to take up all the room in your car this may well be a very very good option for you um it is one of our favorites and it really is very compact and what i love about this as well is that you can change the color of it really yes. easily that's a great great point zoe so when you buy a two lace spring you choose the color of your chassis this one is the silver and you can also have it in black <clears throat> you can change your hood so if you get bored of it back in there you can actually buy a different color hood um this is the brand new mystic misty rose. rose misty rose um but we do have lots of other color hoods um majolica blue i think is zoe's favorite yes it is like your jacket it's like my jacket but again um with outdoor push chairs lots of ventilation here big hood again things to consider but that extra suspension for um if you are going to be doing a lot of walking also um adjustable handlebar which uh, we didn't talk about but some of these buggies don't have adjustable handlebars a lot of them don't because they fold compactly but this one does especially if you're taller if yeah. you've got a taller partner yeah. um that is a really great choice because obviously you know you need to be comfortable when you're pushing <laughs> very comfortable so yes that is the two day uh, spring which again is our favorite compact for off-road so one more that we haven't looked at yet um, often overlooked oyster zero <clears throat> now <coughs> excuse me so the oyster zero is a little bit bigger than most of the things we've looked at today and strictly speaking you probably wouldn't consider this in your very compact folding buggies but we wanted to include it today because if you are looking for something that's a little bit more compact than something you've already got and you have a big child and you want it to last a long time this might well fit the bill as i said this is the oyster zero it comes in a choice of four different colors now this has a massive seat unit so this will go up to uh, 20 kilos so it's quite a heavy weight limit it's not the 15 kilos but the seat unit we know is very large and the hood is also very high so and it's adjustable so you can move it up if you've got a bigger child uh, particularly one who's grown very quickly but still isn't walking that far or perhaps you do a lot more walking this does come into its own and it's very popular it is a little bit bigger than some of the others as i said but you do have that great suspension and sometimes there's a bit of a payback you, you, you know if you want both you, you need something a little bit sturdier this now, can also take a car seat and a carry cot as well yes, yes it can so um going back to sophie's message you could technically have this from birth with a carry cot um you could take it on holiday to greece which sounds amazing uh, with the carry cot on um and just take your car seat as well and leave your fabrics behind it has a big adjustable hood and a big um pull down visor so again if i turn that around hopefully you'll be able to see how much coverage that's got and again we have ventilation uh, ventilation is also something that's quite important if you are going somewhere very warm uh, don't forget that all of these fabrics are spf 50 protected so the fabrics themselves will help your your child um, oyster zero weighs eight kilos so it's not very heavy um, in comparison and if i fold it up before you will see um, it's got a clever little strap under here you take your safety catch off first always do that first and then so when i said to you about it's a little bit bigger if you take the bumper bar off 
which you can quite easily do. It's still tiny. It's still quite compact compared to most people's push chairs. So I'm just going to pop it down so you can see. Um, it is still, it's not uber compact, but it's still very compact. So if you're looking for something smaller, all of the wheels come off this as well. So if you wanted to pack it down, um, it would easily pack down even more compactly than we've done it. And it is just a great little push chair. Um, for £250, you get your rain cover included. Um, it's just it's just a nice buy and sometimes overlooked, which I don't think it should be because it is um, it is it is a very good very good product. We sell quite a lot of them. So Leah's asked, do they come with travel bags? So uh, not many of them come with travel bags. I'm just going to pop the Oyster Zero there. That all makes a little oyster. You know, crash the Oyster Zero. Not many of them come with travel bags. The uh, Baby Zen Yo comes with a travel bag. The uh, Silver Cross Jets also come with a travel bag. We do sell separately uh, different types of stroller and travel bags. Um, I think obviously it's to keep the price down. Is it Leah asked yes. the question? Um, if they start to include travel bags, particularly as some of these are price pointed under £200, it starts to push them over. And obviously not everybody who purchases them wants to go on a plane. I would say that you've raised actually a really, really good point, Leah. If you are going on a plane, we would very strongly recommend a travel bag. If you're going for overhead locker, maybe you can get away without one, but if you are putting it into the hold of the plane, please buy a travel bag. You see the amount of insurance claims we have to fill in every year, maybe not last year, but other than that, every year for buggies that get damaged by airlines is a lot, basically. Sophie's asked, do we have prams for newborns? Yes, we do. Um, so we have loads and loads of prams for newborns. We have over 60 prams on our shop floor. Uh, we are still offering virtual appointments and we also have, um, we are booking now from the 12th of April um, for private in-store appointments with our experts as well. But yeah, we have a huge amount of stuff. Well, sometimes we don't realise how many prams we actually have. Like when we put these out, we just did not realise that we would have this many. In fact, there are more because we do have this type of uh, umbrella buggies as well. We have um, all the ranges from Silver Cross, we have some Chico buggies, we have, we have loads, we have loads. People are generally quite surprised when they come to store um, and when you are welcome back into store, you'll be surprised how much stock we have. So I've store. got another question from Julia, she's on a budget. Yes. Um, would, you reckon, uh, would you recommend any of these prams uh, from my newborn? Um, so I would actually, if you are on a budget, um, I do think the Oyster Zero, it depends what type of budget you're on. The Oyster Zero is actually a really great product for £250. It will last you pretty much all the way through. It's very well made. Um, uh, what else could you use? The Lara as well, like Lara, that's good. Yeah, the Lara is, I mean, I think actually when we talk about, you know, I, I don't know if we have Baby Lady Best Buys, but I do think the Lara should be considered definitely a winning product in, in terms of um, if you consider its price at 189 you get a rain cover you get car seat adapters if you wanted to use a car seat it folds super compactly I don't know if you folded this one up but if you take the bumper bar off it is probably one of the most compact folding ones we have um, it is super compact. I still think if you're on a very tight budget the Oyster, or even the Atom 2 is very padded, it's very comfy. Um, look how compact that Lara folds. I mean, that is just, if you're looking for uber compact, that Lara is amazing. Um, and it's a 22 kilo weight limit, so it's got that extra weight, that extra longevity, so that is probably one of our best buys. But yeah, I, sorry, I've forgotten the name of the person, but <laughs> suitable from birth, this is also definitely worth looking at um although it's a little bit heavier so they say it's a little bit heavier it's actually just such a nice push chair it's very very padded adjustable leg rest it really is suitable from birth you've got this nice ventilation we have done a separate video on this as well so if you do want to have a look at that um if that might be helpful to you and also if you do want to book a virtual appointment um, or even a real appointment once we're open we can go through what we have we do have things for most people, most price ranges. We probably don't have the very, very um, lower end, but we do have most of the others. Hopefully that answers your question. So any more questions? I've got a question from Mel who said she's going away 
<laughs> very lucky Mel. Um, she's looking for a buggy that has good hood coverage. Yes, so uh, we did cover this uh, a little bit. Um, a lot of these have very good coverage. The cabbie has good coverage. Um, yeah, I mean, a lot of them do have yeah. quite good coverage. Um, a lot of them do have um, protection, some uh, protection as well in the hood as well. So that's what always worth Maybe looking at. Not as much on that one. Um, <clears throat> I think these, I mean, the, the, the hybrid cabbie has a lot of protection. Yeah, I'm very impressed by that. If we turn this around again so you can see. Um, yeah. And then obviously you've got the ventilation there as well. So, yeah, really good coverage there. So any more questions, let's have a look who's been watching today and where they're watching from. I've got loads of people on Instagram watching today. Okay, so we're going to run through and try and give you a shout out. If we miss any of you, it's starting to get to the stage where we have so many people, it's hard to give you all a shout out. Please don't be offended. We're really, really sorry if we don't get to you. I've got... So Zoe's going to give the shout out. Oh, I've just got a lovely message from uh, Vanessa. So hang on. I just wanted to say how impressed my partner and I were with one-to-one -one knowledgeable service we received when we visited last August. It was refreshing not to feel sales pressured in any way and to allow my partner and I time to decide on my pram, which car seat would be most suitable for us many hours later. We came home with the beautiful Oyster 3 and Cybex Z, Cloud Z for our son who was born in December. After Aww. a few months now using them, I'm now delighted to say, oh, lost the bottom there. We are, let me... That is, <clears throat> we really, really do appreciate your comments and your feedback. And those of you who um, leave messages for us as well, it's not, I, I keep saying this every time we do a live, Baby Lady is a team effort. Without the whole team here, we wouldn't be able to provide you with the service that we really, we really do strive to do. We believe that we take the stress out of buying for your baby. And hopefully, um, Vanessa says that as well. That is um, lovely, Vanessa. Yeah, Thank really you so much. You posting that. And those of you who want to share your experiences on Google or We do like Facebook good good comments. <laughs> yellow pages. Apparently, we need more good comments on yellow pages. And also, I am going to start to put together a video of customers uh, with their feedback. So if you do feel up to going in front of a camera and leaving us a video uh, video comment, we would love that as well. We would really like that. We're going to put together a little video montage, actually. I'm not going to put it together. I think Zoe It'll be me. Zoe, because, you know, I can stand here and watch for ages, but Zoe has to do the tech stuff. So people watching today. So I've got loads of people watching today. I've got Helen. I've got Ellen. I've got Brenda. I've got Claire. I've got Lauren, Maisie, Sophie, another Sophie, Georgie. Oh, look, Gary Watts. We've got Hi, yeah. We've got another Claire. We've got Charlotte. We've got Lisa. We've got Ian. We've got uh, Georgia. I've got Nicola, Nikki, Ria, and then I've also got Susan, Vanessa. Oh, Susan Superfan. We've got Melanie, we've got Julia, we've got Leah, we've got Hayley. We've got so many people and today. some of you watch really regularly, uh, week in, week out. We've been doing these now for, oh God, months now, Mondays and Fridays at 10.59. And we do really appreciate you giving up your time and watching. And we hope that we're providing value. Now, I know we are planning our lives for the next few weeks. Once we go back into, um, once we can actually open for appointments, and um, we will have to cut down on our lives. So we're going to get as many as we can in um, in the next few weeks that we've got coming. Um, if you have got suggestions, uh, Baby Carriers, I know, comes up very, very regularly. I'm really sorry. I can't remember all the people who've asked for that. That is on the schedule. Uh, we wanted to have some more extensive training on the most up-to-date carriers that we've had in during lockdown because we don't want to do a live unless we're completely up to date with that. So that's why that hasn't been scheduled. But I think we're scheduling that um, certainly within the next week. Um, and <clears throat> we are going to have a very special feature on extended rear facing car seats. We did car seats last week and there just wasn't enough time. We tried to cram it into a live and, and it, it, it didn't. We, I felt we didn't give you the information you needed in the time scale. So we're going to revisit that and we're going to do that specifically for those people who are looking for um, extended rear facing 
um, and extended rear facing, purely rear facing. So uh, we are definitely going to do a feature on that. Uh, we've just had delivered the brand new Axe Kid 1, uh, and we've also got some seats from V-Save. And also we have been asked today to do a feature on double. So we do listen to what you ask us to do. We will bring you what you're asking for um, as best we can. So if you've got any other suggestions, things that you would like us to include on the lives, then do let us know. Sometimes we have to juggle them around if we have product launches. Because obviously, as you know, we have been lucky enough to launch five new products exclusively here first at Baby Lady Handsbury. And we do thank our suppliers for their support. Actually, we've had a huge amount of support from our suppliers as well. And we do really, really appreciate that. So thank you all for running. For, for, we're running over time, I'm being told. So thank you all for watching today. We do really appreciate it. Have an absolutely fantastic Friday and a great weekend. Um, and do keep messaging us, keep messaging us, keep in touch. We really do love to hear from you. And don't forget to send us your pictures as well. We'll have to come up with something. Someone ping me an idea. What should we focus on in terms of sending you your pictures for the weekend? What are you up to this weekend? What should we share pictures of? Not, not about baby products necessarily. It can be anything. We had, what did we have last? We had, we had snowmen one weekend. We had Easter eggs in shops. Yeah. So let us know what you want and we'll share them. So thank you, everyone, and we'll see you back again on Monday at 10.59.